This video is going to discuss the cranial bones of the skull. So first, we have the frontal bone here. Next, we have the two parietal bones here. In the back, we have the occipital bone. On the sides, we have the temporal bone here. If we remove the skull cap, inside we have the sphenoid, which is here. And lastly, we have the ethmoid, which is going to be this little projection, and it comes down in here where you can't really see it. So for the sutures, we have the coronal suture, which is going to divide the frontal bone from the parietal bones. Then we have the sagittal suture, which is going to divide the two parietal bones. In the back, we have the lambdoidal suture here, which divides the occipital and parietal bones. And lastly, we have the squamosal suture, which divides the temporal bone from the parietal bone. On the frontal bone, we have the orbits, which are your eye sockets. Then we have the supraorbital foramen, which are the small holes above either orbit. Then on the parietal bone, we have the superior and inferior temporal lines. On the occipital bone, we have the external occipital protuberance here. And coming off of that, we have the superior nuchal line and below that, the inferior nuchal line. Down here, we have the occipital condyles, which articulate with C1 or atlas. And here, we have the foramen magnum. Now, on the temporal bone, we have the zygomatic process. So here's the zygomatic process of the temporal bone, and here is the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. And together, this whole thing, they make up the zygomatic arch. Next, we have the mandibular fossa on either side. This is where the mandible is going to articulate. Then we have the external auditory meatus here and here. If we go inside, we have the internal auditory meatus here and here. Going back to the bottom part of the skull, these two pointy parts here and here are the styloid processes. And this is the mastoid process, as well as this. Now, if we go to the sphenoid bone, we have the optic foramen, which can be seen here and here. Then we have the superior orbital fissures here, and can also be seen this way. Then we have the cella tertica in the middle here. And the lesser wings up here. And the greater wings all down here on both sides. Here are the pterygoid processes. So we have the lateral plates lateral pterygoid plates and the medial pterygoid plates. So a lateral plate and a medial plate together make up one pterygoid process. On
on the ethmoid, we have the superior nasal conchi, which cannot be seen, and the middle nasal conchi. We also have the inferior nasal conchi here. This bumpy part is going to be the cribriform plate, and the projection in the middle is the crystagalli. If we come back here, the superior part of the nasal septum, which is this whole thing, the superior part is going to be the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid.